This is the second edition of the City University test and it's derived from the D15 test. So in each test there are 10 plates, each displayed with a central colour and four peripheral colours. The patient is asked to select the peripheral colour that most looks most like the central test colour. Three of the four peripheral colours are typical isochromatic confusion colours in protan, jutan and tritan deficiency. The fourth is an adjacent colour in the D15 sequence and this is the intended choice for a colour normal patient. Like the D15, the City University test identifies only those with a moderate to severe colour deficiency. Those with a slight deficiency pass without error. Okay, so Thomas is now going to do the City University colour specimen test with us today. Okay, Tom, so what I'm going to ask you to do is, you'll see the four, the four colours around the one in the middle. Mm -hmm. So without touching, I want you to tell me which colour in the periphery is closest to the one in the middle. So you can just answer with me up, down, left or right. Okay, so um, you understand? Yes, so uh, up. That's great. What about this one here? Down. That's brilliant. Right. Mm -hmm. Left. That's great. Right. Mm -hmm. Left. Down. Left. Right. Down. Up. Okay, that's us. Well done. Best. So that test is done binocularly, but it also be repeated with the right eye only and the left eye. So as you can see here, this is where you write Thomas' results, and he scored 10 normal scores, and 0 for protan, jutan, and tritan deficiencies, indicating that Thomas does not have a moderate or severe colour deficiency.